Namaste. <laughs> how are you today? Welcome to a new episode of I Want This Stuff. And uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. He's doing great. So uh, welcome to the show. Today we're going to talk about the uh, state of Funko Sodas or yeah. the uh, unstate of Funko Sodas. Because uh, where are they? I don't know. Nowhere to be found. No, but we'll get into it right after, right this. after this. Hey, welcome back to the episode. And today we're going to talk about um, Funko totally destroying the uh, soda line. Soda line. <laughs> Um, first off, if you haven't, if you don't watch us on whatnot, we have talked about this for the past about four or five months at least on our streams. At least. Um, so we decided to do a video on it because we know a lot of you guys might not watch us on whatnot and might want to know about what's going on. So yeah. Or what not is not going on. What is not going on. And also, yeah. And that's the Funko Soda line. Yeah. So, um, we can go back to about six months ago when Funko reached out to us and said that they were thinking, thinking about um, waiting six months to reevaluate the soda line. Six months to a whole year of not producing any sodas whatsoever. Um, as a soda okay. collector, we were like, what are you even talking about? I mean, it's one of your biggest lines and just the fact that they were reaching out saying that they were thinking about it already meant that they made their decision, made their decision. Yeah. And if you are a soda collector, they continued to release sodas up until about three months ago it was about yeah three four months ago you had the hat box ghost soda um and that was about right the last common release now this is for you know common releases you're still gonna have your exclusives con releases whatever like nothing we, like it used to be. Nothing like it used to be, but those have been the only sodas releasing. There has been no common releases. There's none scheduled. Um, we have gotten order forms in that, you know, starting five months ago, they carry all the way over till about summer of now this year, 2024. They go till about summer of this year. There's not a single soda on any of those order forms. And there's been several order forms that we have ordered product off of. Not one soda on any of those lists. The only uh, the only soda that they did talk about was the uh, two sodas in... Yes. So, and we're going to throw... We're going to be throwing up graphics left and right. But this graphic... Sorry, it is cold in this warehouse right now. That's freezing. Yeah. So if my voice is shaky, that's why. But right here, we have sodas that they announced about six months ago. Mm -hmm. For Valentine's Day of 2024, um, they were done in like old Coca-Cola bottles, glass bottles. And it was a two-pack Valentine's. It was Aquaman, it was... Poison Ivy. Whoever they were, they're right there on the list. Yeah. Um, but we haven't seen anything Nothing. of them. Um, but we did see the, the Valentine's Pops. Yes, and the Chocolate Pops. Well, those were the Valentine's Pops, right? Yeah. So, haven't seen any mention of the sodas. Mm -mm. And then the three liter sodas, they've just been discounting them all and pretty much giving them away on the website just to get rid of them all. It's changed a lot because I got two three liter chases a few weeks ago for like 50 bucks 
I mean, back when three liters came out, every chase was a hundred bucks. Yeah. But um, there's also another graphic right here we're throwing up of sodas that were supposed to come out. The main one was the Velma. Velma. So this list right here, I was uh, talking about it on whatnot for the past few months. Um, none of them, they were all slated for November of 2023 slash January 2024. We had quantities ordered on them. They were South Park, Indiana Jones, all that. Those are nowhere to be found. Velma was originally supposed to come out in, I believe, October of 2023. Got pushed back till November, then pushed again till December. And now it got pushed back till February slash March of this year. So far, that's the latest. Well, the other ones are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You mean those were supposed to come out last summer? But now they're saying in January. Yeah. But we've seen no movement on those. No movement. Although there have been, you know, people getting them here and there. I think Box Lunch had them or something. So there's people that have had them. But it was kind of like the Venom or the Oil Can Harry or the Ramjet where a few got released. Right, where, where, <laughs> and that's, that's what blows me away. It's like, okay, well, we, we shipped out 20 cases to certain people and they're in the market now. But we're going to hold on to the main production run. And it's like the Venoms. It was, what, four months after the people got them. That they were finally released in bulk, and yeah. it was all after the fact. I don't know what Funko's doing with their distributing or how they're going about it. I know they've got major um, personnel issues in corporate. They've you mean because they fired everybody? They've what we've heard is they've laid off over half of the staff. I don't know if that's true. We're just going by what we've heard, um, but uh, I mean, we didn't. We really don't even talk to Funko anymore because they they're so out of the loop for yeah. wholesalers right now. They're not talking to any wholesalers. They haven't really been saying anything, um, even you, about the sodas being canceled, because that's what happened. And when you look at the big box stores. Mm -hmm. that we're getting Funko product. And when you go and you walk into the big box stores, they've shrunk to about a quarter of the size that they were. And yeah. And one of the things is, is we were, so we'd order um, sodas in the past. We didn't get them. They went to big box stores, whatever else. Big box stores didn't sell through them. So they sent them back to Funko, and then because we had open orders placed, they fulfilled them. They filled them, and it was with all the old product that they weren't selling. I well, mean, it's like we got a restock of Heat Miser and Snow Miser like six months ago, and they all had the box lunch sticker. Yeah, <laughs> the barcode. Yeah. So, I mean, when you, I was just in a box lunch a week ago. They had what if sodas in there. Yeah. What if sodas? How long ago did those come out? Long time ago. And they were on their shelf. So Funko is, I, I, from a corporate standpoint, I have no idea what they're thinking. You had a major line, profitability soaring. It was insane. And you destroyed it. First, you destroyed it with the non-numbered sodas. That's a whole nother thing. That's though. a whole nother thing. And then you destroy it even further by telling your wholesalers, oh, we're going to axe the line for six months to a whole year. And now, if it comes back after that, is there any anybody that's going to be I don't, interested? I, I mean, I really... you You've got to rebuild... The, I mean, COVID, COVID 
was the best thing to ever happen to Funko. Yeah. And then the especially for sodas. The cure or the whatever the decrease in COVID killed Funko. The collectability is gone. People that had the free cash or whatever that were at home in front of their computers, they wanted to relive collectability, whatever, generated so much money for COVID. I mean, for, for Funko. And now that it's gone, people are back at work. People are worried about their bills, inflation, you know, everything else. Funko is... Well, not only that, but Funko was like, oh, everybody's interested in, you know, either certain sodas or certain pops. Let's go back in and ramp up production right across the board. They were overproducing everything. So, yeah. They thought of the quick buck. Yep. They didn't think of the collectability. They overproduced. And now they're sitting there going, you know, what do we do? How do we pivot? And the genius is that Funko thought, well, we'll get rid of the soda line and we'll come out with a... Uh, rewind? The rewinds are the the minis. The bitty pop. The bitty <laughs> So stupid. The, and I mean, the soda list we shared too, the ones that we had on order, Indiana Jones, South Park, those could be great sodas. And the funny thing is Funko is... They, it's annoying too because Funko admitted to us when we were at HQ they want to they know they messed up they know they screwed up on the soda piece counts so they want to revert back to low piece counts yet they're just getting rid of the whole line completely. The key is Funko doesn't Funko it, it, it they need to realize. That they are collectability driven driven product. Yeah. Um, how they go about that, getting the numbers that they want is internal. That's fine, whatever. But when you overproduce, you take the collectability out of it. And now you're just producing product, hoping the masses are going to purchase it and they're not doing it right now mm -mm. so you need to revert back to the collectability market produce the amounts that are going to drive the sales to where you sell out of the product but they're not listening to the collectors i mean they have you know they're they're on the stock market they've got shareholders they got to report to or whatever but they're not thinking about the collectability whatsoever, unlike uh, baseball cards or soccer or whatever. Those people listen to the collectability part of it. And to the market. Right. Yeah. That's the collectability mm -hmm. part of it. They know this is the amount we're going to produce. And third part... Um, your 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 third party market is going to drive the sales of collectability and the sales of your product. Funko's not doing that for some reason. I I have no idea. I know they teamed up with eBay, and they initially did a couple drops with eBay, mm -hmm. and then now that's gone away. It's like it. It's like they know they need to fix it, and they want to fix it, and they want to do the right thing, but at the same time. Right when doing that, they go and do something to f it all up. Yeah, they're not they're not listening to the market. Yeah, they're listening internally to people that aren't necessarily your market. And until they reach out to the people that are collecting, the people that will influence production runs or product runs until they do that they're guessing and i've seen some different 
product categories where they've actually reached out to the collectors and said, what are you looking for? What is going to drive sales? What, what is going to be the best for the market for these items that are being collected? Funko's not doing that. I mean, Funko's coming up with, I mean, now they got the female Freddy coming up. Yep. That's good. That's I think that's real, really real <clears throat> good. That's better than coming up with proto, in my opinion. I think if you've got a female Freddy, you can do Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. Poison Ivy, you can do all the female whatever, like you've done with Freddy. That is something that's going to be collected. That's something positive. Other than that, killing your soda line. And that's the main reason why we wanted to do the video is because we've been so vocal on to our whatnot users who also watch these about the current state and what's been going on behind closed doors. And I mean, there was supposed to be a whole uh, Robin Hood soda line for the, what is it, 70, 70th anniversary or whatever it is, 75th. But they were supposed to have a whole line of sodas come out at the same time as all the new pops. Those are no longer, who knows where they are. I'm I, not going to collect the pops, but I'd collect the sodas. Yeah. And take it with a grain, grain of salt, right? Mm-hmm. Not a grain of pepper. Yeah. We're not saying that they're permanently done or permanently canceled. It, It's just that time frame, six months to a year. But they're killing where the there's market. No, they are killing the market. And the market for sodas has been just continually going down anyway. But it's... All of Funko's been going down. Not on the older grails and stuff or pops, but... But those are collectors. No, exactly. Exactly. And, I mean, these sodas, you'll still have your exclusives and whatever, Comic-Con sodas, I'm sure. But as for common releases, they're done for at least a year. What it's going to be like after the year, who knows? Is that list with South Park, the couple new Star Wars, Indiana Jones, are those going to come after that year time frame is up? Are sodas done entirely? Well, you you look, look look at this. When they came out with the Ezra soda, there is no Ezra, and that that's my other point. The Ezra soda for Haunted Mansion that was announced along they were here's a picture announced at the same time as Darth Maul and um, I, Leia. Hold on, announced at the same time as those two, still not out yet. Okay, I I misspoke. I meant the hat box guys. I know. But there is an Ezra soda right, 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 right. announced right. too. But when the hat box ghost came out, mm -hmm. I mean we fully stocked the warehouse with yeah. it. But the sodas, the the collectability of sodas had died so much that when we started selling that, those should have sold out in two days. Yeah. Those took three weeks. Yeah. To get rid of sodas. Sodas on the market started going down right when Hula Stitch came out. Right at right at that time, Hula Stitch sold out crazy, but right at that time frame is right when Soda started taking a dive, and that's because there was no releases at all. Well, when the, I saw, when I saw it, it was Shazam. Yeah. So our other point too is you had. For the longest time since 2020, you had sodas. Boom, 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 boom. Gone. So people were hyped. People were buying them. But people didn't notice now with the line being canceled, supposedly. I mean, there's a lot more gap in between the releases. You had Hula Stitch, and then it was a few weeks. And then you had the Hatbox Ghost. And then it was like two months and you finally got another soda. People have lost interest. Yeah. And that's what it comes but, down to. But also, Funko canceling the line, that just proves that they uh, always planned on canceling the line because there weren't that many releases coming out. 
I'm not going to say that they canceled the line. I'm not going to say that they plan on canceling the line. I'm just going to say whatever they're doing internally. Yeah. Repositioning the line or whatever they're doing. Totally and, decimated collectible. And hey, who, who knows what happens after that year is up? Is it going to be rejuvenated? Who I don't knows? know. I mean, anything can happen. Three liter sodas. I I really believe they need to start focusing on three liter sodas. But what was the last three liter soda that came out? The Bonneville? Bumble, yeah. Bumble? Yeah. Nothing since. Mm-mm. And that's been and that's, over a month. Exactly. And that's why I'm saying they probably, because when they told us this plan, it was when we were at HQ. Think of how many months ago that was. So how many months before that did they already say, okay, that this is when we're canceling. And that's why the Stitch and the Hatbox Ghost were starting to be so far apart. But was this based on what Brian was doing? I don't know. Or I, is this new? I don't know. But, I mean, where's the list of, I mean, all those sodas that are supposed to come out, they're a ghost now. There's nothing on them. Uh, on order forms, no sodas whatsoever. And it, it's crazy to actually see that. It is. I mean, sodas were, I mean, you go back two years, we were fighting Fighting to get sodas. Yeah. Three years. Fighting to get sodas. You know, we were right in at the beginning. And we, then we were fighting and they were selling them to big box stores. And yep. we were trying to get on the list. And we were having battles with them. Just trying to get our part of the soda quantities. Yeah. And then they started doing international. And international wasn't selling. And then they were begging us to take international. And we were like, <laughs> they still are begging. I know. We don't want any of the international. There, there's still order forms that come in daily from Funko with all the old, with all the old international sodas. And I'm talking about OG sodas, yeah. international. And they are marked down tremendously. And no wholesaler is taking them. No they've one. been, they've been on order forms. For months and months and months and months, and not a single wholesaler is even ordering it. None. The quantities over in the other section remain the same, anywhere from however many units to however many units, and it's remained that way. So there's nobody bringing international in, but it's just changed so much. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's it's mind blowing. If I were to to own a manufacturing business and to sit there and say, you know, this one's making us multi-million dollars a year, but um, yeah, we're going to cancel it. <laughs> I yeah. don't get it. Now, what, like we're we, going to start making uh, the minis and uh, the, the uh, chocolate pops. The, uh, the, no, those uh, the rewinds. The yeah. rewinds yeah. And you know, Rewinds, we've discussed several times our opinions on those. Um, but it's just, it's crazy to see where sodas have gone. And who knows what's going to happen after. But we wanted to come on and let you guys know, instead of just the people on our whatnot streams. Um, but what's funny, where, where Funko really screwed up is, now they have a lot of competitors chipping away at their market. Yeah. I mean, look how much u uh, twos is picking up. U2s is big. It's really U2s picking is up. real big. And that's a higher price point, too. And there's a lot of designer toys coming up. Oh, ha- I mean, you have Dorables. You have... Um, the You have 52 toys. You have Cause Babies. You have all these, which are amazing figures, amazing toys. And you're having all these things start climb up and building up. What's going to... They're just taking away the market from yeah. Funko and um, designer toys are where it's at. I mean, I... I and, you know. you know, the other thing is there was another... Um, there's been a rumor of a new Rocksteady soda and a Splinter soda for TMNT for the Mayhem movie version. The Splinter I'm cool with should have been the OG comic TMNT version. Um, 
but whatever. But why another rock study? And that's the other problem, in my opinion. You have all these duplicate characters coming out. Jack Skellington, there's like 20 of them. They regurgitate. The Spirit Freddy, there's 20 of them. The Rock Steady, there's going to be six Rock Steadies now. I mean, it's, it's, why? It's a joke. So I mean, and, and when you talk about designer toys, you got Funko, you got Funko collectors. This that, can be a long video that are so tired of the regurgitation of sodas, of pops, of whatever. Um, Gasol Cast. Mm -hmm. What's the name of their um, Gasly? Gasly. I mean, these are collectors that produced their own designer toy and they're selling it out and constantly they're, they're actually collectible because they're Very. made in small batches small batches they yep. know what collectors want yep and the the ghastly character is is it's cute i love them and then they've got the new character that they're doing too yeah and that's selling out i mean that tells you funko you don't have to produce huge quantities of product for the collectability market. You are a collector item. Sure, you want to produce some stuff for the masses, but you also got to produce stuff for the collector. Mm -hmm. It's got to be numbered. I mean, <laughs> Gasol Cast, hey, I. <laughs> We love Gasol Cast. Yep. We love their videos. I mean, and, um, and I mean, I just love seeing them produce a character, sell it out, boom. Yeah. But um, I think that's the way the the this type of market is going. It's going more to the designers. Uh, it's going more to the collectors. They're going to produce a product. They're going to have a collector base that's going to buy it. Um, it's been doing it for years. Funko can't seem to wrap their head around it that they are a collector item um, and they're destroying their market. They're destroying the one market that was very, very good, successful. Yeah. Very good to them, which is the soda market. Even the three liters, in my opinion, a lot of people disagree with me, but the three liter sodas are beautiful. I love the three liter love sodas. Them. But I mean, they it's they're they're and producing the, too much. Yep. They're too many lines they're not focusing on the collectability and uh it's going to be interesting to see where funko's at in the next year it will be especially yeah for the sodas and i mean for everything funko but it's, it'll be very interesting to see where the sodas go in the year time frame see what happens take what we're saying with a grain of salt we have proven forms the sodas that we listed those were the last known sodas to cross our desk on order forms on any order forms uh for the foreseeable future whatever happens i don't know where those sodas are what's going to happen to them uh velma is supposed to be here uh soon but we said that uh last september and still don't have it uh, Mayhem supposed to be soon, but we said that last summer. Still don't have those. So we'll see. Um, those are going to be your last two groups of sodas. And then whatever is left on the list and the Robin Hood list, if those come out. If not, Mayhem, Velma, last two sodas for common Turtles. releases. Turtles. Yeah. To ever, common releases to ever come that out. That we know of. That we know of. Everything else from here on out for that whole year is going to be some type of exclusive. Um, whether that's Box Lunch, Hot Topic, Target, or Funko Shop for some convention. But that's it. Um, this is not going to be edited. This is going to be a whole 30-minute video. We want you guys to know what's going on, what's been going on with sodas. If you wondered why there hasn't been that many releases... Uh, why the Marty McFly Funko Shop soda never came out. Uh, so, yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Comment yeah. below. Comment below. Um, but, yeah, we might. Who knows 
what's going to happen for sodas. I think Funko will always be around. We've talked about this before. Um, just because they're set up differently. But there's a lot of stuff taking over. And a lot of people slowly migrating. I mean, still collecting Funko. But they're starting to collect a bunch of other stuff as well. So that's taking over. So we'll see. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I think that's it for now. Yeah. Ring that bell for notifications. Bing bong. And um, it's terrifying. Remember, always be a good human. Call your mom. Tell her you love her. And uh, you always got to say hello because when you do, you get to say bye, guys. Adios. So as they say in Canada, peace out.